Hi there, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my grandmother's recipe for homemade hand cream, hand lotion. It looks like this. It's a luxurious formula. It's extremely moisturizing. The best part about it is that it's really simple and inexpensive to make. It also is customizable. So I'm going to share with you the basic recipe and then also tell you some ways that you can make it your own and add some little touches to it that are really, really fun. Uh, so if you're interested to see how she does it and now how I do it, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's start with the ingredients. You just need three basic ingredients for the original version of this recipe. You need 16 ounces of a baby lotion. I use the Target brand baby lotion, just the original pink formula. You can use also a mild unscented version, which would be white and would not have a fragrance to it if you don't like the baby lotion smell. I do, so that wasn't a problem for me, but my grandmother does prefer to use the white unscented version. That way you will end up with a white lotion and you can also add other scents to it, which I will talk about at the end. You're also going to need eight ounces of vitamin E cream. I picked this up at CVS. This is a CVS store brand. It came in four ounce containers there, so you're going to need two of these. And then finally, you're going to need eight ounces of a petroleum jelly. Again, any brand will do. This was from my local Publix, which is a grocery store chain here. And you need eight ounces of this. These came in 3.75 ounce containers. These measurements don't have to be exact, just as you know, close as you can. Like I mentioned, 16 ounces of baby lotion. The manufacturer for this was 15 ounces. You know, this was just under four. So just do the best that you can. I did find when I was looking for these ingredients for myself that across the different manufacturers, the uh, measurements were all a little bit different. So as long as you have about 16 ounces of baby lotion, about eight ounces of vitamin E cream, and about eight ounces of petroleum jelly, you'll be fine. Now for making the lotion, this really could not be simpler. You just need to take your three basic ingredients and dump them all into one of your kitchen mixing bowls and mix it together. I think the best way to do that is with a hand mixer, an electric mixer. Um, if you have a stand mixer, that's absolutely not necessary, but if that's what you have, that would be fine also. You can mix this together with just a kitchen spatula, but I don't really find that that's the best way to incorporate all the ingredients. If you're using a standard traditional petroleum jelly, it can be kind of hard to incorporate that with the other ingredients using just a spatula. It kind of just wants to fold the ingredients in and then you can have like globs of the petroleum jelly that won't get mixed in and really dispersed evenly amongst the other ingredients. So if you have a hand mixer, which is what I use, I really think that's the easiest and best way to do it. Um, you're not looking for uh, any particular consistency. You just want everything nicely mixed together. It kind of looks like a nice frosting when you get done. And of course, mine was pink because I used the original baby lotion, but you know, yours may be white, you know, if you're just using the milder unscented version of baby lotion. But you can see it just comes out like a nice, thick, frosting like creamy consistency. Not quite as thick as a body butter, but definitely more rich and creamy than just a traditional lotion would be. So it's a really, really nice hydrating formula when you're done. Now on to a few variations of this recipe. Now to change this recipe to suit your taste, you can do a few different things. Uh, one thing that you can do is alter the amounts of different ingredients. If you want it to be a little less thick, you can use a little less petroleum jelly. You can start by using half the amount, maybe go from there and just see what moisture level you're comfortable with. You could also use a little bit more of the vitamin E cream or the baby lotion to suit, again, your whatever consistency or moisture level that you like. Another thing that my grandmother really likes to do is use the Vaseline petroleum jelly cream. Now this is not quite as thick and heavy as the traditional petroleum jelly. It still has a, like a nice thick consistency. Let me show you this. It is still a thicker formula, but it's not gonna be quite as thick as the traditional petroleum jelly. So she really likes to do this. Um, when my mom makes this recipe, she likes to use this uh, petroleum jelly cream as her summer version of this. So that's another really good suggestion also to use the jelly as a more thick hydrating wintertime version and then the petroleum cream as a summer version. Now some other things that you can do as well, when I mentioned that if you want to have it 
uncolored, unscented version of this lotion. You can use the mild sensitive baby lotion that does not have the pink coloring to it or the fragrance. And you could substitute like an essential oil, an almond oil or rose oil, whatever fragrance that you like, you could substitute um, a couple of those. You would, a couple drops of those. You would not want to use like an original scented baby lotion and the essential oils. Those fragrances would really compete and probably not have a very nice fragrance combination in the end. The other thing that you can do is use coconut oil in place of either one of the petroleum products. You know, some people these days are not comfortable with petroleum-based products, so you could certainly use a coconut oil in place. Again, I would probably start with about four ounces of the coconut oil and maybe go up from there as needed. So when you are done, whatever combination of these ingredients that you decided to use, just make sure you use about 16 ounces of the baby lotion, about eight ounces of vitamin E cream, and then about eight ounces of either the petroleum jelly, the original, the petroleum cream, coconut oil, whatever you would like to use. At the end, you are gonna get about 24 ounces of product based on these measurements. You can make half this recipe if you don't want that much, you can double it, whatever you would like to do. And this also makes a really nice gift to give to friends, to give to a hostess of a party, something like that. Um, mine I'm using for myself for now, so I'm just putting it in a Ziploc container that I had on hand but you could use glass jars, maybe a really cute small mason jar. You could get something from the craft store, put a bow on it. There are so many different ways you could present this as a gift and share it with your friends. Um, and because it is so easy and inexpensive to make, it makes a really affordable gift to share with others. And it looks more uh, complicated than it is. So I think it's a really cute gift to share with people and it's homemade. And I think people always like something that's sort of homemade, whether it's baked goods or lotion or what have you. So anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my grandmother's body cream recipe. Again, all of these ingredients and the how to's of it, even though that's easy part of it. I will list all this information on my blog so you can go there for reference. So I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.